All right, in previous videos, we've looked at how to enter transactions, how to enter and pay bills, how to record contributions, and how to use journal entry. So what we're gonna look at now is at the end of the month, let's say again that you've started Aplos as of January 1st, put in your starting balances, and now you have entered a whole month's worth of transactions. Now, at the end of the month, what do you do? Well, a bank reconciliation is usually a pretty good practice to go through on a monthly basis. What this is, is you take your bank statement, you then compare it against Aplos and you figure out if anything's missing or if anything's wrong. The idea is to compare against your bank statement in order to ensure that my financial record, my accounting record matches my bank statement as of a certain date. So what I'm gonna do here is go in here, type in the ending date of my, of my statement. So January 31st. And let's say that I had uh, $12,120 in the bank account as of the end of January, which again, your bank statement would show these two pieces of information and then start reconciliation. The other thing that people ask a lot is why is this zero? If you were to actually hover over this, it'll kind of explain it, but generally why this is zero for your first bank reconciliation is you've never done a bank reconciliation before, so there is no opening balance. Once you finish your first reconciliation in Aplos, then your statement ending balance of one month will become the opening balance of the next. It's just the very first journal entry has a zero opening balance because nothing's been done. So let's do one. So I, I would type in these two pieces of information here, the statement ending date and the ending amount, and then hit start reconciliation. So what this then takes me to is a transaction screen listing that on the right lists my deposits and other credits, and on the left is my checks and payments. So the best practice is to take your bank statement, start at the top, and then go through the list and say, okay, on the third, there is a transaction uh, to pg &E for $50, check number 73081, there it is, check. So you would check that off if the information on this line matches what shows on your bank statement, okay? Uh, let's say at the beginning of the month, you had $11,800. So there's kind of a starting balance that I'd put in. And then I had t-shirt revenue for $10. I had another donation batch for 150. And then I had a donation batch for 200. So as you check these things off, it's doing the math down here by saying, you said you started with nothing and you should be ending at 12,120. So we took away 50 and you've added 12,160 to it. So the math doesn't really line up. You're off by $10, right? So my cleared balance is only 12,110. So I am somehow missing $10 in order to finish my reconciliation. So this is where if you're working on your bank statement and literally going through and crossing things off as you check them off here on the Apple side, you'll come to errors. You'll either come to something on your bank statement that is not an Aplos, and so you'd circle it, or you'd come to something in Aplos that doesn't show up on your bank statement, and so you'd investigate that. Again, typically the, the whole point of this is to get the month to match your bank statement. So if you have, um, like let's say I had entered this bill twice, if there's two $50 transactions to pg and &E showing up here on the third, then I would check one off and then go back into my register and delete the other one. Uh, likewise, if I'm uh, going through the list and I realized, oh, you know what, we actually sold another t-shirt uh, for $10 that I forgot to record, then you would hit finish later. That's going to save your progress here. You'd go into the register and then you would enter that missing transaction. So let's say on the, uh, let's say just say the 15th or something. Um, let's say Justin bought a t-shirt, bought a t-shirt for $10. And that is going to go into one of my income accounts. I'll say other income for my outreach fund. Submit. So there's my missing $10 that I just entered. So now when I go back to my bank reconciliation, I can resume my progress. I just click OK. And then it's going to save everything, except now I have a new deposit to select. So I'd say there's the one that I was missing. So now all of my deposits and all of my expenses match my bank statement for January. And now the finish uh, button is now clickable. So I'd click that. And that will then take me to a report to basically show me, here's what you just did. You said you needed to clear the certain amount. Here's all the transactions that you cleared. And now you can print or save that for your record. The other thing that this does now is if I were to go back to my register, all of those transactions that I just cleared are going to have this little C icon here in the register to tell me that they have been cleared. Any of these transactions, I can still click in here and I can change certain things. I can change the vendor. I can change the date to a certain degree. I can change the account, but I cannot change the amount. Notice that. The reason for that is you have said in your bank reconciliation that that cleared my bank. So it is like it's, it's done. It's proven. 
you said that that showed up on your bank statement. So then you should have no reason of changing the amount. So that is why you will not be able to change the amounts on reconciled things. So hopefully that makes sense. But uh, hopefully these videos have been helpful. Again, this is kind of uh, to illustrate what you would do now to get started in your bookkeeping after beginning in Aplos by setting up your accounts, tags, purposes, and starting balances. Now it's just a matter of keeping up with stuff. So on a monthly basis, you would enter transactions, record donations, create batches, whatever you need to do to get your accounting kind of registers kept up to date, enter bills, whatever you need. And then at the end of the month, do a bank reconciliation to make sure that everything has been recorded and recorded properly, and then start the new month.